Hello guys! So for today's video, we are going to talk about division of polynomials and our focus would be the use of the long division. So okay, let's start! So if we recall the division algorithm, the dividend divided by the divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor because we know that the remainder is less than the divisor. So for example, we have 16 divided by 2, we get an 8. Another way to write or another way to write a division process is using the fraction symbol. So the dividend over the divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. And in one best example is converting actually an improper fraction into a mixed number. So we have 9 over 2 or 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4 and a half or 4 plus 1 half. Okay, so when you're dividing a polynomial with a two or more term polynomial, we use a different process of simplification. We use the long division we learned from the lower grades. And this process, is, uh, this process can be applied in dividing numbers. Like for example, if you divide 52 by 4, and we know that the process would be, oh, sorry, the, the process would be dividing first 5 by 4, and you will get a 1. Afterwards, you multiply that 1 to 4, and then you write it under the 5, subtract, then we get a 1, bring down, repeat the process until you get a number less than 4 or less than the divisor. So in short, the process is to divide, to multiply, to subtract, then you bring down the next term, then you repeat the process. But if we are dealing with polynomials, subtraction is one operation that is very confusing when it comes to polynomials because we're dealing with a negative and a positive term. So instead of subtracting, we change the sign of the product and then we add so to divide first we multiply we change the sign we bring down repeat so let's wow. apply those steps to examples example number one so divide the polynomial x squared plus 6x plus 8 by x plus 2 so the first step in the long division process is to arrange and make your division process long division process but in polynomials, you must make sure that all the terms from the highest degree, highest power going to the constant are complete. In this case, x squared plus 6x plus 8, we have a degree 2, a degree 1, and a constant whose, that has a degree of 0. So in that case, we can now proceed with our long division process following these steps. So, okay, so we divide the first term. So that's, we divide the x squared and the x. So x squared divided by x we're gonna have an x and the suggestion is to always line up like terms so we put the quotient x on top of 6x okay step two we multiply we multiply the quotient obtained with the divisor so that is the quotient x multiplied by divisor x plus 2 and with the distributive property we're going to get x squared plus 2x and we yes, as i've said line up like terms so we put x squared under x squared and positive 2x under 6x all right so instead of subtracting for an easier method when dealing with polynomials is to change the sign of these terms of the product and then we apply addition adding is easier than subtraction so x squared minus x squared or plus negative x squared is 0 6x plus negative 2x gives us a positive 4x sorry so it gives us a positive 4x and then we bring down the next term positive 8 and then we go back to step 1 which is to divide the first terms so there we then we divide 4x by x and that will give us an answer of a 4 so we align up align that in on top of the constant 8 step 2 again is to multiply 4 with the <clears throat> divisor x plus 2 so distributive property 4 times x is 4x 4 times 2 is 8 and we write that under the 4x plus 8 the next step is to change the sign then we add so change it positive 4x to negative 4x positive 8 to negative x and as you can see if you add them you get a zero which means that this division process has no remainder 
Therefore, we can now say that x squared plus 6x plus 8 divided by x plus 2 is equal to x plus 4. Which also implies that you can write the, the dividend as a factors of the quotient and the divisor. So we can also say that I'm going to use red. So we can also say that x squared plus 6x plus 8 can also be written as x plus 2 times x plus 4. Okay, so let's have another example. Number 2. Okay, so another example is if we divide 6x squared plus x plus 9 with the device or with the polynomial 2x plus 3. So as I've said, the first step is to arrange our long division process. And then we apply these five steps. So step one, divide the first terms. So that's 6x squared divided by 2x, which gives us a positive 3x. Then we align it on top of x. Step two is to multiply. So we multiply that one by the distributive or using the distributive property. 3, 3x multiplied by 2x plus 3. And by distributive property, we're going to have 6x squared plus 9x. And line up like terms. I'm just going to erase this process here. Line up like terms. So we have 6x squared plus 9x. Third step is to change the signs. So from positive 6x squared, change to negative 6x squared. Positive 9x, change to negative. And we are doing this because changing the sign of the... Uh, the addend one add the yeah the addends in the addition process makes it subtraction so 6x squared plus negative 6x squared is 0 x minus 9x is negative 8x and the fourth step is to bring down the positive 9 then we go back to step 1 so step 1 is divide negative 8x by 2x and dividing negative 8x by 2x gives us a negative 4 so we write that on top of 9. Next is to multiply that negative 4 with the divisor 2x plus 3. And the product would be by the distributive property negative 8x minus 12. And we write it below negative 8x plus 9. The third step is to change the signs. So from negative, it will become positive. From negative, it will become positive. So when we now add, negative 8x plus 8x is 0, 9 plus 12 gives you a positive 21. And this 21 is what we call the remainder. And uh, you know that the next process is to divide it again with the divisor. So then we now can, we can now write our quotient as 3x minus 4 and then plus the remainder 21 over the divisor 2x plus 3. Always remember that when it comes to polynomial, you should be writing the quotient that way. Hey, that's pretty okay? good. So, I hope you're learning something. <laughs> Let's proceed to the third example. Okay, third example. Divide x cubed plus 8 by x plus 2. Now, as you can see in this um, given, the dividend has two terms only, but it is raised to 3. So when writing down the dividend for this kind of given, you must make sure to arrange the order of the terms from the highest power going to the lowest power and uh, put in or include zeros for those that are missing terms. So in this case, x cubed plus 8 doesn't have an x squared term and also an x term. So we should be writing the dividend as x cubed. We should add a 0x squared plus 0x plus 8. Anyway, adding 0 will not change the value. So... It's still x cubed plus 8. And then after that, we now apply the long division process. So let's divide this. So first step is to divide the first term. So we divide x cubed by x. I'm going to use some space here. Then we're going to have x squared. And as I've said from before, we should line up like terms. So another reason why you should be putting 0x squared there so that you know where to place your quotient x squared. Next step is to multiply. So we multiply x squared with the divisor x plus 2. 
So by the distributive property, we're going to obtain x cubed plus 2x squared. And it will just be under the x cubed and then the 0x squared. So plus 2x squared. Okay, the third step is to change the sign and then we add. So if we change the sign of positive to negative x, positive x cubed to negative x cubed, positive 2x squared to negative 2x squared. Now we add, so x cubed minus x squared is 0, 0 minus 2x, 0, 0x zero squared minus 2x squared will give us a negative 2x squared and the next step is to bring down this 0 or 0x. Zero and we repeat step 1 negative 2x squared divided by x we get a negative x or sorry a negative 2x let me erase that so we get a negative 2x and we again we place that on top of the the 0x so that's minus 2x here and then we multiply again negative 2x times x plus 2 by the distributive property, we're going to obtain negative 2x squared minus 4. And we write it below this two, these terms. So we're going to have negative 2x squared minus 4. Oh, sorry, 4x. And then we change the sign. So if you're going to notice, the process of this, the long division process in on polynomials is the same as the long division process when we divide numbers. So... Let's continue this will be 0 0x plus 4x is 4x plus 8 and then we repeat the process once more I'm gonna use a different color so that you will be you will not be confused so let's have 4x over x gives us a positive 4 and we write that 4 on top of the constant 8 so that's plus 4 then we multiply that 4 with the device or 4 times x plus 2. It will give us 4x plus 8. And we should be placing that answer here. Sorry, I, uh, I covered it here. So that's 4x plus 8. The next step is to change its signs. So negative, negative. And as you can see, there will be no remainder. So therefore, the quotient is the quotient for this um, polynomial is x squared minus 2x plus 4. So let's write it there. x squared minus 2x plus 4. So this is the quotient of x cubed plus 8 uh, divided by x plus 2. And like what we did a while ago, since there's no remainder, we can write this in factored form. We can write x cubed sorry we can write this x cubed plus 8 in factored form x cubed plus 8 can be written in factored form as x plus 2 x squared minus 2x plus 4 and this is a recall a factoring method in lower grades the sum of two cubes no. so let's go to our last example whoa wow. so now we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 term polynomial on top with a degree of 4 and a trinomial as our divisor. So don't, be, don't worry because it still follows the same process. And as I've said, step 1, arrange the terms of the dividend in the descending order of power. So we will be starting with x to the 4, then 5x cubed, then 9x squared, 11x, then minus 10. So let me erase that before we start. Also, we have x squared plus 3x plus 2 as our divisor. And our dividend would start from x to the fourth because it has the highest degree. And then we have plus 5x cubed. Okay. And then we go with plus 9x squared. Afterwards is plus 11x and then the minus 10. So that's always the first step in writing down the long division process. Arrange your dividend. And once it's arranged, we now perform the long division process. So I'm going to use this space for my solution. So we have x to the fourth over x squared will give us an x squared. And that x squared must be placed on top of the x squared. 
on top of the 9 x squared. So that is x squared on top. Then we multiply that x squared. So I'm going to guide you. x squared with our device or x squared plus 3x plus 2. And using the distributive property, we're going to obtain x to the 4th plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared. And this trinomial must be placed under x to the 4th plus 5x cubed plus 9x squared. So let's put it here. The 4th plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared. And then now we change the signs. So this positive x to the 4th becomes negative. This becomes negative, and this also becomes negative. Then we add. So we get a 0 here. Then 5x cubed minus 3x cubed will give you will give us 2x cubed. 9x squared minus 2x squared is 7x squared. And then the next step is to bring down the positive 11x. Then we repeat step 1. Step 1 again. 2x cubed divided by x squared will give us 2x so we write that 2x on top of the 11x then we multiply that 2x with our device or x squared plus 3x plus 2 and by distributive property we're going to obtain 2x cubed can you still see it yeah 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x okay plus 4x then we write it under the 2x cubed so let's write it there 2x cubed plus 6x squared plus 4x then we change the signs so we change positive to negative positive to negative positive to negative so when we add it we get 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0 7x squared minus 6x squared is x squared um, 11x minus 4x is 7x and then we bring down the negative 10 then we repeat step 1 again x squared divided by x squared will give you give us 1 so that's plus 1 then we multiply it and we know that when we multiply 1 with our divisor we're just going to obtain x squared plus 3x plus 2 third step is to change its signs so change the sign of the product then we're going to have a remainder of this is 7x minus 3x is 4x negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12 so the remainder is 4x minus 12 so plus the remainder 4x minus 12 over the divisor x squared plus 3x plus 2 and that is the quotient for this given polynomial sorry for the little space okay so i'm just going to rewrite the quotient here so that you can see it so we have the quotient x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus the remainder 4x minus 12 over the divisor x squared plus 3x plus 2 and that's the quotient for this given polynomial okay so if you learn from this video, kindly hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and I hope I was able to help you somehow. So with that, I'll see you in the next video, another lesson on division of polynomials but using another method. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.